This is a scammer in India, pretending to be PayPal. What you are watching right now is footage of him via his very own webcam. We're watching him now in between scamming sessions where he sends out fake PayPal email invoices with his customer support phone number on it, dupes people into letting him remote connect to their computer, and then scams them for tens of thousands of dollars. Now at this moment, it looks like he's got some time to kill while participating in some extracurricular activities that we definitely can't show on YouTube. Despite this haunting image, this scammer, whose real name is Faze Ali, keeps very busy. In this video, we're going to show you his entire scam step by step, waste his time. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own, but save some of his victims. Someone is trying to steal your money from your Venmo. Oh no! I'm calling from Trilogy Media. There's somebody that's trying to scam you right now. And at the very end of this video, Art and myself are gonna be going undercover for a face-to-face -face confrontation that didn't end how we had planned. <laughs> this is a scam email claiming to be from PayPal. And here's another one. And another one. Here's one from fake Amazon as well. All slightly different, but with the same nefarious intent. To get a potential scam victim to believe that they've been wrongly charged for something and get them to call in to their fake support line. But if you do call, you're not gonna reach PayPal. You'll be talking to this guy, Faze Ali, better known to his victims as James Morgan. Or this guy, his coworker, Samir Chudhari, better known to his victims as Noah Thomas, a seemingly bright youngster loaded with potential, but all of it wasted on his shameful way of making a living. I bet his parents are really proud. When these professional losers receive a call from a victim, they convince them to allow remote access to their computer, usually via AnyDesk or TeamViewer. No, it's AnyDesk Remote Desktop. Can you see that? So that they can process them a refund for whatever bogus charge they were emailed about. Okay, you don't upset now. Now, once the scammers have remote access to the victim's computers, or in some cases, their phones or tablets, they will then wreak havoc on the victim's life by trying to steal their money just about any way that they can. Oftentimes, they'll play this whole long charade, making the victim think that they were over-refunded, hence the victim then being required to send that money back. FaZe and Samir like to use Venmo and Zelle, but sometimes it's wire transfer, sometimes it's Bitcoin, and sometimes it's as crazy as sending cash in a box. Watch to the end of this video where we actually send a package with cash in it and then travel to confront one of these scammers face to face. Before we get there, I'd love to shout out Surfshark. It's the VPN of choice that we use here at Trilogy Media and the sponsor of this video. In this day and age, if you're not using a VPN when you browse the internet, your personal information is highly at risk especially if you ever use public Wi-Fi connections. Surfshark is an app and a browser extension that lets you connect all of your devices to the internet securely by using a virtual location that can be anywhere in the world. Now, by doing this, you're able to keep your real location private, your IP address hidden, and all of your photos and passwords and videos safe and secure. You can also bypass geo restrictions and access content as if you were actually in a different country. Just by changing your location in the app, you can immediately access a bunch of different streaming services that you wouldn't have had access to otherwise. And no matter how many devices you actually have, with Surfshark, there's no extra charge for any of them. You can use one single subscription on an unlimited number of devices. Get Surfshark today and keep yourself safe online. We have a link in the description of this video that takes you to Surfshark, but by you using that link, not only are you gonna get a huge discount, but it's also telling Surfshark that you came there from Trilogy Media, so it's helping the channel out tremendously. Click below and use the promo code TRILOGY and you're going to get 83% off your Surfshark subscription and you're going to get an additional three months of service for free. Plus a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you've got no excuse. Now let's meet one of these scammers' victims. Her name is Hai and she lives in Linwood, Washington. She thinks that she's talking to Amazon, but instead she's talking to a scammer that is already connected to her computer. On your computer, you need to log in into your Winmo. And as you can see, the scammer is infiltrating every aspect of her digital life. Her bank accounts, emails, credit cards, her Venmo, Zelle. The scammer is trying to send money to himself via every source of hers that he possibly can. Because of the amazing work of Johnny, AKA Barbosa, we're able to listen to and watch this entire scam operation go through. Yeah, madam, uh, we are going to send you money in 
into the parts matter so once first of all we will send you the money like 450 okay yeah because we are going to send you in four parts 450 450 then 450 so you can receive it properly because 2000 yeah because because 2000 is a very big amount so we are sending in you we are sending the money in parts okay yes madam you don't have to do anything now we are working on it okay no 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 you don't have to put your name over there madam we have to put our name over there yeah you no 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 you don't have to put your name over there we have to put our manager name over here so we can send a request to my manager so he can release that money i'm sorry madam it's taking too much time but <laughs> Uh, I'm working. I'm trying my best, Madam. Yeah, no, no, Madam. Like there is a too much manager. Like my billing department manager is a different. My like my different manager. Listen to me, hi. You can do your uh, work if you are busy. You can just put me on a mute, and you can do your work. You don't have to do anything high. We are doing it, okay? Oh. Thankfully, Johnny was able to spot High's cell phone number on the scammer's computer screen before the scammer was successful at stealing anything. Since Johnny, aka Barbosa, is already connected to the scammer's computer secretly, he's able to shut down the PC himself, disabling the scammer's conversation with High, and then proceeds to call her himself to put a stop to the scam. Hello? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. My name is uh, Johnny. Actually, uh, yeah. Is, is this hi? Who is this? Someone is trying to steal you, steal your money right now. Someone is trying to scam you. Can you shut down your computer right now? I know uh, they're not, they're not from the Norton, PayPal, whatever, whatever they told you. But that's a scam. They're just trying to transfer the money from your Venmo right now. Oh no, they not steal from my. Venmo, they the one return my no, money back. No, no, ma'am, I deal with online scammers every day, so I know this is a scam. They will not refund you any money. Oh. This is just a scam. They are logged in, into your Venmo right now and they have full control of it. They're trying to transfer 20. Oh, really? Yeah, they're trying to transfer 2278.81 2, cents from your Venmo account right now. You are on the call with them for more than one hour. I was I was listening to whole conversation, but yeah, I, w I will explain you everything. But you need to shut down your computer right now, right away, because they are about to steal it. Oh, 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 okay. I turn it off. Let me tell you who I am. My name is Johnny. Okay, and uh, I work for the company called Trilogy Media. We are on the YouTube. If you will search us on the YouTube, it's Trilogy Media. You can find me. Okay, you can find me online. I track down scammers online. I, I was watching everything. I was listening to the call, how they convinced you that they are going to refund the money. But uh, actually, this is this was just kind of trick to steal money from you. Mm. How you how you know and you can walk between my uh, conversation with them? Yeah, I can I can listen it. I can watch it because uh, you I told you I am I, if you will search me online. So now what should I do now? Uh, you should uh, I think they have this uh, remote software installed into your computer. If if someone is uh, like if someone knows about the computers, you can ask them to uninstall it from your computer so they cannot access it again. OK, and uh, if you receive any other emails in the future, Please confirm it with your bank first. They have your phone as well. I think they, they were connected to your phone as well, to your computer as well. So yeah, there's nothing to worry right now because they haven't uh, um, they haven't steal any money yet, but you need to be very careful in the future. Oh, thank you for telling me that. He does not work for the Amazon. His real name is Samir, okay? And he's from the India. If you, uh, I, I don't know if you identified his accent, but yeah, he definitely do not work for the Amazon and he's from the India. But yeah, I'm from the India too, but yeah, I'm not the bad guy. Oh. Yeah. It's hard to know who the bad guy, who the good guy, but thank you for calling <laughs> and tell me that. Yeah, you can uninstall that from your phone, okay? Just just click on that any desk, just long press, okay? And you will see an option there to delete it or uninstall it. You just need to uninstall that any desk from your phone and from your computer. Uh, that's what you need to do and you, you will be safe for sure. He already asked me what to do or in my credit card number, enter for him and 
the three number in the back of my debit card. Yeah, I, I see he haven't stored any of your credit card information, but uh, if you want to be safe, uh, you can you can change your credit card. Oh. Yeah, that that will be safe for you. So. Uh, by any chance if he will have your credit card number so he cannot you know charge your credit card with any amount Okay, oh my god this morning crazy like crazy to me uh, Or maybe take take your computer to the local store. Okay, that will be great take your computer to the local store So uh, they can clean it you can you can tell them what happened to you or you can tell them There is a remote control software in your computer so they can clean it. Okay. Oh, okay Okay. If you have if you have any any other questions, uh, I will text you my email. So yeah, you can you can reach to us uh, through the email. Okay, and I will give you the link of our YouTube channel so you can uh, watch our videos. And there are different type of scams, so you can learn about how oh. to how to stay protected from the scams. Okay. Oh, okay. That's why during working, I feel a little weird, take a long time. He said he's yeah. finding manager if or something. And then I'm kind of frustrated, I'm tired, and I'm sick. So I say, oh, why take a long time for refund my money to okay. me? Okay, 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 oh. okay. I think you should not waste your time right now because he is, uh, what what is this? Uh, I think he have your card information. Uh, he's trying to purchase something from online website. So I request you to call your credit card company right now so they my can bank. stop the charge. Yeah, it's... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, he, he, what he doing now? yeah, he's what trying he to charge. Now? He's trying to charge your credit card. I can see it. He's trying to charge your credit card. Uh, please cancel your card right now. Just call your okay, bank. Call I your credit so. card. And and you tell me where he's from? Yeah, he he's from India. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You should not waste your time because trust me, he is right okay, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, he's right yes, now trying I, to make yeah. the purchase. Okay, tell just me your name. Yeah, yeah tell me your name. Yeah, I will text you everything because he he is just filling the card information. Uh, into some uh, okay. purchasing website. So just call your card first. We can talk later, but All just right. save your money right now, please. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for okay. your help. Me. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye bye. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Did you call your bank? I did. Uh huh. They they were they were trying to purchase gift cards with your card number. Gift card? Yeah. They they were trying to buy. Oh. American Express gift cards with your card. So if you cancelled it, I think you should be okay. Yeah, I'm okay, Cat. Thank you so much for helping me. You said a good guy. I, I really don't know. I'm not worried about the debit card. I already cancelled but all this information. I think he's on your PC right now. Can you check your PC? Is he is your computer on? Uh no. Uh my computer my computer computer now is on but uh, not on that page. Uh, my uh, my family on the computer to make some uh, some appointment. Yeah, but appointment but, is but, not, but yeah, huh? but scammer. I think scammer is still connected with your computer. He, I can see he is watching your huh? screen right now. Uh, okay, give me a second. Uh, what 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 time is it there? Is it eleven twelve a.m. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's 11, 12. Yeah, he's on your computer right now. He can see your screen. I'm I'm sure he is watching it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need to clean your computer. Oh. That's why I told you, you need to take it to the local store. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, yeah, are, so, uh, you, you are on your screen uh, right now on the Google, I think. And there is a Google uh, page open, let right? Let me look, let me look. Now your screen is blank, right? Uh, yeah, my screen is, they say, please wait for the system update. Do not turn off. Yeah, it's it's okay. He's trying to log into your Venmo right now. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. I don't know what to do, but yeah, you need to you need to take this computer to the local store because he is watching everything, whatever you are doing on your computer. He is in your Venmo right now. Oh yeah, you see he on my Venmo right now. Yeah, is he? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, you cannot yeah, see your screen, but, he, but because he blanked it. But yeah, if you if you uh -huh. want if you want me, I can I can do a video chat with you. I can show you your screen because he's watching it. Should I do something with my Venmo? Do you, do you have a, another credit card linked with the Venmo, or this is the same credit card you cancelled? Yes, uh, it's the same credit card I cancelled. 
okay i think I, d I don't think then he can make any charges on it but yeah he is watching your screen i don't know what to do because he have installed this software and you don't know how to uninstall it so that's why i told you you need to take it to the local store and clean it okay so i take it to local store so i go out there and i say remote control software yeah and then what i want them to do i you want them to delete clean it, it up. yeah clean you, you tell them that you need yeah. to clean your computer but if if they need better explanation you can call me i can explain them okay I got it. Yeah, it's huh? you're okay. you're shutting it down, down right now. now. Yeah, it says shutting down. Yeah, I see it. Okay, good. Thank you so much for your work, for your help. Yeah, you you very very welcome. You have a very good day. Okay, if you need any help, just just uh, call me. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Yeah, you're now welcome. Now I know. I will careful and yeah. protect. Thank yeah. you for protect my account, and you have a good day. Yeah, huh? you have a good day too. Okay, take care. Uh, you too. Yeah, take care, brother. Thank yeah. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. But reaching the victims directly is not always as successful. Thankfully, with Barbosa watching every move the scammers make, Art and I are going to call these scammers to bait them while Barbosa shows us every move they make on their own computers in real time. And since we already have a bunch of private information and recordings of these criminals, we're able to have a little bit of fun while we do it. <laughs> Why would you sit like that? I don't know. Unless you're ready to masturbate and come on your on well, your. I think that's what he was doing. His name is uh, yeah. His name is Faz Ali. Let's wait a few minutes and All right. see if maybe if something. if she logs into the bank, maybe yeah, maybe the bank right will show it or something. That's crazy. Oh, it's failing to log in. That's good. Okay, listen, listen. Let me guide you. Let me guide you. Can you hear the scammer? Yeah. 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 Fuck, this is weird. Watching this in real time. Play Store. Open the Play Store app. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can control his PC. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I can access her phone. Just let me just call my number from her phone so I can get his number. Okay. Open the Play Store app. She is using her phone, so yeah, it's, it's hard to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, I think I have the password for the AnyDesk to the victim's phone. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut down the computer of the scammer, so, okay. so I can access her phone and just great. call from her phone to my number, okay? Okay, you smart motherfucker, yeah, that's great. Barbosa is doing what he's doing the best. Just wait, just wait. Bing just inside. Just wait, just wait, okay? Okay, I think it's, it's off now. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, now I'm gonna connect to the victim's phone so I can, yeah, I can get the number. Great. Just a second. This is the password. I think we are in. Great. I'm just gonna call on my number first so I can get her number. Yeah, yeah. And then we can call her. I don't know why it's taking time. Okay, let me try from. Okay, it's not accepting the connection. I don't know why. You don't know her, you don't know her name, do you? No, I don't know it. Camera is calling the victim from Android system and I don't have access to that. So that's the reason I cannot get her phone number. Fuck. He just turned off on his computer. All right, let's okay. maybe let's see what he does. Okay, I think we should sh should should we call him? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, his name is Faze Ali. So we'll call him Faisal or Hazelnut. Hello. Yeah. Hello. This is Jack from the calling you customer care support. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little confused. I got this email saying I was charged for something, but I didn't order anything. Sir, you want to cancel it, sir? Yeah. But do you have any computer or any laptop, sir? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm on my laptop. Oh, I'm on my laptop now. I was just uh, doing some work here when I noticed this invoice. Supremo free. Then put a dot like a period. C-O-M. Dot com. Click on OK. OK. This is some kind of a refund program or something. Now what can you see? Hold on one second. I had a, I had a message come in from my yeah. uh, local uh, potato farmer. Hang on one okay. second. Now you see your ID and the password. Okay, tell me the ID and the password, then I will verify. Eight two one. Just ask him for Yes, yeah, sir. Can you tell me the password, sir? Then I will verify. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had a um, um, my computer's been acting up. I keep getting these pop-ups. Um, that blocked the password, so I'm just closing this this other pop up for it's a okay. it's a game that I have. It's one of those. It's like you climb a ladder and try to try to move side to side out of falling yeah. potatoes. 
Uh, and then if you just smack... open that and tell me the password, okay? Got it. Yeah, sorry. I'm just I'm, I'm just doing the potato run um, thing here. Okay. Yeah. Now, what can you see, sir, on your computer screen? Yeah, I'm looking at... It's so many potatoes just falling. I'm just trying to figure okay. out... Oh, okay. I got it. Nine. That is correct. Okay, sir, do not touch any computer. Huh? Okay, sir, do not touch, sir, your computer. Do not touch anything, sir. Oh, I can't touch? My technician just help you, okay? Not touch anything. Don't touch. My senior technician just help you, okay? Okay, don't I can't. I know not. Yeah, I just won't. I was just making sure my my, my okay. potatoes were were farming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, my yeah. My senior technician just help you, okay? Okay, no problem. Let so what? Go. So what happens now? Do I? Am I gonna lose my game? Whoa! Oh, Johnny, he just hung up on me. So they connect. And Johnny just texted me and he said, "Haha, he's happy that he got he remote." Got remote. What do you want me to do? Let's call him back, right, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. Call him back. It got disconnected accidentally, I think. Oh, okay. He's opening a notepad now, so he, he just ask him to call you on any number if you want to give him any text now number or something. He, he's gonna call you. Yeah, hi. Can I talk to Jack? I got disconnected. Yeah, 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 sir. Uh, this is Jack, sir. Hey, I did think we got sorry, disconnected, sorry, sorry. bud. No, you see, sir. Uh, my senior technician just help you, okay? Did you write on my screen? Are you there? Is that you? No, no, no. My senior technician they'll guide you, okay? They'll protect anything, each and everything. Oh, each and everything. Okay, just great. Wait, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, just Thank you. Not touch your computer, okay? Just remove your mouse. Remove it from where? Just do not touch anything, sir. Do not touch anything. My sanity Nothing? Just do it. Just do what? Okay. All right. Thank just, you. Just, just remove your mouse. Remove it. It's just not... I didn't mouse. I didn't put it anywhere. I... Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Just hold on, sir. Yes, sir, you see, sir, any other call is coming in your phone? Any I, other call? I don't, I don't know. I'm on the phone with you. What do you mean? Uh, do you have any cell phone or... I'm calling you from my home phone. Do you need my cell number? How many members in your home? How many bum bums in my home? You only live in your home or somebody else? If someone else lives in my home, I have a serious problem. Because it's me. I live here. Uh, it's a studio. And I do believe, and sir, I do believe, sir, you are the main owner of this computer. You believe, laptop. you believe correct. You have a laptop, right? Yes. But no, but my training technician just called you this number right now. Okay. That's the reason. Well, he's not going to get me. He, he's not going to get me on that number. I'm on my landline phone with you, so I'm not getting the call. If your senior technician needs to call me, then he needs to call my cell. Okay, you, just hold on. Do you need hold the phone number? Uh, you have a cell phone number, so can, can, give me the cell phone number, okay? 424. Four. So you can do another scammer. Yeah. You see, sir, uh, my senior technician just give you a call, okay? Yeah, I'll answer the phone. Uh, let me get that call. Hello? Okay. Okay. Are you talking to me? Hello. Hello. Hey, tell me what happened. What? What do you mean? What happened? You're the one doing this here. I I needed to. I got I got charged, and then they got me do Supremo free. Oh. So they're in the computer there, and I'm here now, and you called me on another phone here. So what are we doing over here? What happened exactly? Okay, there is an unauthorized charge. Okay? Yes, I got charged. I didn't order this. Huh? Are you in my computer right now? Yes, you're connected with us. I want to ask you, okay, like, do you do any kind of online banking? Online banking, yes. You need to confirm with the banking. 28,000, I think. I, you know, I, I use it for browsing the internet sometimes. Um, I, I like to play a game. I was telling the other guy I got this potato game that I do you dodge falling potatoes on a, on a ladder that rolls side to side like you're in a library, but it's potatoes instead of books. Okay, and can you tell me your checking account number, sir? My checking account number? I don't know it my, by heart. And you have a debit card? I have an ATM card, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just hung up. When he will get the access to our, to our system, I'm just going to log into his phone system first. Then we're going to show him the video. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. Hello? Uh, Supremo Remote. Download option over there. Blue color rectangle box download. Uh-huh. Click on that. Yeah, click on that. Download, okay. Hello? What happened? Are you connected? Fuck yourself, you motherfucker. What happened? Cat got your tongue? Did you see something, something? Did he see it? He must have seen it, Johnny. 
I think he's caught into your voice. He, he, he thought he already talked to you. That's why he disconnected. All right. Yeah, this motherfucker is calling me back. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, this is uh, the senior technician calling in from the support. Uh, it seems like your computer has a network worms, right? Kind Worm? Of, uh, yeah, Trojan. It seems like your computer might be infected with Trojan. Okay. You need the... Uh... That you need numbers. those. You need those numbers. Yes. Okay, it's six three six. Uh, you need to give a full permission on that one, okay? Okay. And click on accept. Okay, guys, he's connected now. All right, I think that worked. Can you see the my screen here with my red car? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, there's something weird going on. I wanted to show you here too. Look at this, phase, Ali. You see that? Sorry. Do you do, look at my screen? Yes, I do. Who is that? Who is that? Looks like you. No, that's not me. Oh, that's you, Faze. Are you watching some adult movies? What are you watching? Are you watching some uh, some porn? Some jiggy jiggy activities? With your big ass bed. He was like, this is not me. Of course it is. <laughs> Did he disconnect? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call him back. The text now subscriber you were trying to... The number you are trying to reach is no longer in Oh, he blocked the original <laughs> number. <laughs> okay. All right. Go from the other one. Okay, his computer's off as well. <laughs> Good. Classic. <laughs> He's terrified. I'm going to leave my message. Hello? Hello, FaZe. Hello? Yeah, I got to I gotta talk to you. Can you hear me? The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. I think you just got diagnosed with an STD. Sexy trilogy dominance. You're fucked, my friend. We and Barbosa are inside your entire operation. We've been watching you. We've been watching what you do. We've been watching you jerk off, unfortunately. I have all your browser history. I know what kind of porn you watch. And all of your victims are never, ever going to hear from you again. You piece of shit. Stop scamming people. Stop pretending to be Norton. I am watching everything. You can uninstall your entire OS. It's not going to matter. I am watching it all, and Barbosa and Trilogy Media will always be there to fuck you in your ass. And if you want to watch your adult videos, make sure you're going to put your t-shirt over the camera. Yeah. Because we no, see no one likes to see your big-ass yeah. belly. I got a big put, belly, but I don't flaunt it like I'm some kind of fucking king of the world. Put that shit away put your and stop away before yawning. Gonna chop you. Oh my god, you are so fucked. You, the way, life, the way that you know it is over. So go fuck yourself and have a wonderful day. This is another scammer from the same call center. Samir, I told you he, he transferred the money from someone's Venmo account. And this is his PC screen here. He, he have card numbers. He have, num he have social security numbers, all the information. Wow. He, he still have access to a uh, victim. And okay, he's connecting to someone's team viewer right now. From bottom to top, flap it up. Hear him okay now? And yeah. Then, can you see it's saying team okay. quick support? Tap on that. Open that application. Open okay, I think this is the number here, 508. Maybe just wait for a few minutes, then call, call the victim. Can you see your ID and doing that? Johnny, should I note down these other phone numbers on the notepad? Now do one thing, man. Yeah, maybe these, these are the victims. Do one thing. You can note them down. Okay. Do one thing. Just close this application and then reopen it again. I just... Any kind of option, okay, okay, I just turned this computer off. You can, you can call him now. Okay. Yes, tap on. It's gone now. Calling. Hi, you've reached Carol's her cell phone. Um, kind of leave a message. And okay, Carol is her name. Let me call her back. Hi, you've reached Carol. Mm -hmm. Hi, you've reached Carol. Hi, you've reached Carol. Hi, Carol. My name is Ashton. I'm calling from Trilogy Media. I'm desperately trying to get in touch with you because there's somebody that's trying to scam you right now. I believe you are either on a call now or were recently with somebody claiming to be from Norton or Amazon. Um, I'm here to warn you that that is a scam. Those people are not who they claim to be. Uh, and I can explain everything if you want to call me back. 310. It's really important. Whatever device they're trying to connect to, whether it's your phone, your tablet, or your computer, shut them off and call me as soon as you can, please. I have actually one, two, three, four, six victims right now. Jesus. So if you want to call. Telephone number 865. These people are getting scammed, but they don't answer their fucking phones. These scammers will scam anybody that they can get their hands on. But it's no secret that their main targets tend to be older folks, as they're usually less tech savvy, hence making them easier to manipulate. What's coming next is truly magical. Watch how Barbosa not only baits these scammers gloriously, 
but takes an unorthodox approach while he does it, which helps reveal other methods that these scammers use that aren't as well known. A former scammer himself, Johnny, performing world-class scam baiting, is coming up right now. Something you definitely don't see every day. And make sure to watch to the end of the video for some action, cops, cash, with an ending that you will not see coming. Take it away, Johnny. Welcome to PayPal. This is Albert Richards. How may I help you today? Yeah, I received an email here. I can see in your system that there is a suspicious activity is happening in your PayPal account. I will explain to you each and everything. Can you please confirm me that amount? $499. Okay, okay, go ahead. No problem, sir. I'm an old guy. I'm old school. We are here to help you. So you just drink a glass of water, okay? You said your name is Albert? Uh, yes, sir. My name is Albert. Richard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you comfortable now? Yeah, what do you mean by I'm comfortable? <laughs> My oh. wife left me, so I'm but all alone. I can, I can do whatever I want. I'm home alone, you know. Oh, really? It's so bad, sir. No, it's not bad. Oh, I'm happy shit. that okay. that my wife Diana Diagonal oh. is not at home. You know, I'm very happy right now. <laughs> so I just want great. to enjoy myself here. Good. Yeah. Someone is misusing your PayPal account. All okay. right. And he was purchased a uh, BTC, as mentioned on this uh, email, BTC of $499. Are you in front of a computer right now? Yeah. So you didn't worry about that? You simply open the Google Chrome browser first? Some, some, there is some problem with yeah. my computer. I paid someone to fix it before a few All days, right. but it's still not working. www. It says here, anydesk.com. Is that what you want? Uh, yes. So let me inform you. This is our partner application. I don't want. Application. I don't want. I don't want any desk. I, I want my desk. Click on download now first. What do you see on the screen? I see the red page on my screen. It says your address. Okay, and what is the address number over there? It says six three six. So I'm sending you the accept. Okay. One accept. Once accept key and accept button coming on the screen. You no, no, no. Just click on that, accept. I don't want. Okay. I don't. I have already key for my house or car. I don't want any keys. Are you calling from any no, uh, key no, no, marketing key. company? No, no, not key, not key. Wait, wait. Look at your screen. Security key warning. And in the screen, there is coming. Another access. person would like to access yeah. your we device. Are, we will cancel all the charges, whatever amount are charges from your PayPal account. And we will give you the refundable amount. That is why you have to accept our step. Okay, once you accept that, then we will go to the next step to give you and security and give you the refundable amount to secure your PayPal account. So just click on accept, okay? Click on accept over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on yes. I did click that. Yes. I did that. Uh, this is the permission that is asking every computer whenever you are going to uh, download or install any application. Okay. Who is there? Who are you? Hello. Hold on one second. Someone is at, at someone is at my door. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on the line. Who the hell are you? Get out from my window. Oh, hold on one second. She, she's not <laughs> home. Diana is not home. Go away. Like. What do you see exactly on the screen now? Hello? Hello, can you hear me now? I had some strange dude showed up on my door and he's asking where is my wife? Uh, no problem, sir. You just answer the... Uh, like, uh, talk to the wife first. Who I'm are you? The line, okay? no You're not problem. the same guy I was talking to. This call has been transferred to me and I'm the senior financial officer. What is your name? name? Is Morgan, right? Because my name is James Morgan. I'm the senior financial officer over here. James, my colleague was finding James. Some difficulties to getting you listen to me. I think you guys right, or right, right. you guys don't know how to handle a customer, old customer here. Okay, this is not fair. That's the reason why this call has been transferred to me, sir. There is a hacker who is inside your computer and they are trying to use your IP address and they are making payment while well, using all your financial institution like your banking information, they're using your bank account. Uh, like I just need some 
uh, you. I can't give right. you my precious I time. 10 to 20 minutes and I, kicked, done, I kicked out my wife from my home. Okay. Her name is Diana Diagonal and I want to mm -hmm. be alone home so I can okay. I can do my thing, you know. Did my colleague told you the refund amount which you supposed to get it from our end? Hold on. All I right. think it's not on hacker who have made this purchase. I think it can be my wife, Diana. She is a bitch. Okay, sir, I can I can just uh, tell you the name of the guy who made that purchase. I'm sure. He, like, uh, she she have a new North, she have a new boyfriend. I knew her. She was cheating on me. Do you know what what they have purchased? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! She's like uh, uh, like uh, the name of the guy who made the purchase. His name is Roger North. Maybe he he might be his boyfriend. Your, your first guy said that they have purchased from BTC, which is a currency of some other countries. So it might be possible that. That is correct. So my wife that is. is correct. So right now, what you want to do? Yeah, I want my wife back, and I want my money back too. And I want that bastard. Which, okay, definitely. Which cheating, or definitely. my wife is cheating on me. I never. Oh, don't cry, sir. don't cry. I'm an old person here at my I home. <laughs> I don't know why she left me. Pain, it's sir. been 65 years we've been together, and now she's cheating on me because some handsome dude showed up, and I don't know what, but she don't love me anymore. Don't worry, sir. You are not a wrong person, so God will never do wrong with you, okay? God but already did wrong with me. You. That My wife is cheating on me. I don't know I why don't, I love her so much. I understand that, sir. I don't understand that. I would have been on your side. I would also feel the same thing which you're feeling right now. So I understand your pain, all right? So the first situation is that right now you need to save your money, all right? I want because to. your wife is cheating on you. And in back of you, she's just trying to steal money. And like uh, every single penny from your account. So the first thing we need to secure a connection and save your money. And once it's done, all right, then you can just, uh, I'll just try to figure it out how I can give some opinion, how you can just get back your wife that uh, you love her so much. I do understand. I can understand. Are you a therapist? Pain, okay. Thank you so much. Are you <laughs> I'm not a therapist, but <laughs> you don't worry, so I'm there to help you out. So first of all, you just minimize this page. Just minimize this page. Okay, I'm so happy that someone on this earth cares about me. I hope you don't mind if I ask you, like, how old are you? Like, uh, you sound very younger to me. Like, mm. uh, how old are you, sir? I'm 87. 87, you just like my father. Just the age of my father. So hope you don't mind if I call you father. You can call me father. I don't know. You seem a really nice guy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, father. So from now onwards, you don't worry. Uh, nothing to get worried. You have a son whose name is James Morgan, okay? So first of all, you just minimize son. this page, father. Just minimize this page. Uh, you need to tap teamweaver.com. Okay. What was your name again? And push the enter key from your keyboard, Father. What? It's James. You can James. call me Jim. James, have you ever been cheated? Never, never, Father. I never cheated on anybody. Then why is Diana cheating on me? But don't worry, everything will go good. Alright, I'll pray to God. Everything will go good. I hate right? her now. She left me. But She's a bitch. I tell like that with your lovely wife and you love her a lot. So first of all, so you're, I'll you're do, taking I'll the side of my wife. Your you're taking the side of my no, wife. I'm taking your side. Can you say Diana is a bitch? Yes. To give me comfort. I can't say that, uh, Father, because uh, might be there's a misunderstanding is going between you. Uh, between you. If you say you Diana is a bitch, son, I will do whatever you ask me because I hate her right now. I want to curse her. Okay, no problem. Can Father, you say it? Don't, don't need to worry. 
and first of all you stop crying because it's making you embarrassed okay right can you say so diana is a bitch for free. that's so, it i just want to hear it okay diana is a bitch <laughs> great you feel good now yeah, i feel really awesome okay. thank you so much <laughs> okay <laughs> all right father and click on download for free if I need to buy this, I will buy this. Do, do I have to buy this for you? I will buy it. No, 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 no. You don't need to buy nothing. You're after all my son. To you. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you out because uh, that cheater who is just cheating with your wife is just trying to steal your money. I don't want you to lose your own hard-earned money. So I'm just trying to help you to save your five hundred dollars. Right, father? Don't uh, worry. Once, uh, as I told him, my father, you don't worry. I'll come here at your place to visit you, and maybe sometime we will like have a dinner together. Okay. Oh, that nice. time you can share each and every. That's great. I, moment that I will be very together. happy if you can do that. Definitely, father. That's my promise. Being alone all my life. Okay, father. First you stop crying. First you stop crying, right, father? I'm not crying. Click on run. You are crying. Run. Oh, it was a joke. Don't cry because uh, if you start crying, like it, it will make me also cry. Okay, so please click on run. First, we need to secure your money. She is installing. Be handy with a pen and a paper. I I don't know if I have a pen here because my wife have locked all the rooms and I'm just sitting here in computer computer room. She, she locked, locked the whole up. house. Holy shit. Then how do you go out? I can't. That's why I was talking to that guy from my window. Like uh, she have locked you up and went out? Yeah. But there is a way that I can go down from my basement. Don't make any kind of mistake like uh, you don't give any kind of your debit and credit card to your wife. Because as you told me that your wife is cheating behind you. Or she's a... Might be she can just... She's... Have she's fun such a... Have fun with that money. She used to say that she's a queen. But she's queen, but she's bitch too. She took all my money. And very soon I'll just provide you a refund form. Which okay. you need to fill out. Cancellation form. Our business link with Norton as, as well as McCafe. Okay. Right? As I told you, the hacker is inside your computer, so okay. we are trying to send you the money through uh, this form, all right? Because if uh, the hacker will get alert that you are trying to receive the money, okay. So he actually PayPal, didn't have the PayPal refund form. He have this Norton, uh, like and he just accidentally opened it, then closed it. Then he thought he don't have it. Then he just opened it again, or maybe he th he thought I I saw it. All right. But now he's he's trying to. Just give me the refund for the Norton. Okay, son. What do we have to do? It's starting with your first name. Just write down your name. Okay. And what's your first name, father? Lazen? Lazen? My name is Lazdo in Barbosa. Lazdo in Barbosa. Okay. I'm oh my goodness. From Barbosa. Russian. It's like, uh, it's it's like uh, my grandmother's name, you know. Like uh, she, uh, her uh, name is also Barbosa. And put your date of birth. Hold on here. Okay, okay, so I just have to calculate my date of birth because I, I don't know how much I told him. I think I'm 86. Yeah, maybe. I'm just thinking, like, how heartless your wife is. Like she have locked you up at your house and she went out with. A boyfriend? Yeah. yeah she is. I knew it before that she's cheating on me. She she used to go out with Vlad. A lot. She don't love Barbosa. Then why don't you get separated? Then why don't you get separated with her? I can't because she said that she will release my nude video. She's She's a real bitch. Your video? Yeah. I was I was sleeping with Natasha and she made a video about that. Oh she, my goodness. She's blackmailing me. That's why I can't complain to her. Because if 
she showed that, that video to, to my parents or someone in my family, uh, she knows that I, I will be, I will die. So she is taking the advantage of it. And where that video is? Is that video is safe and secure on your laptop? No, she took it. She took it with her iPhone. She said. She said it's 180p. Oh. It's HD video. So my no face problem. is visible once, there. Once this process, once this process my is private done, parts too. Once this process is done. Once this process is done, I will give you an idea that how you can get that video back to you. I used to sing when I was in the college. I like music, but I don't sing. Do you rap? I have a very like, bad voice. Do you yeah. rap like, uh, like, like Eminem? <laughs> no. Do you get the message I'm no, getting no, to, to you? You know what's coming, you motherfucker. Don't you even know to you? I used to rap in my college. Because, uh, like, I'm having a very hard time right now with my family. Okay. So I'm working in this company from past six to seven years. And the federal Central Bank. Right, Bank. and uh, this is the United States of America, central government side. And you need to write down the name of your bank, which you're banking with. And father, like, uh, do you do online banking with your Chase Bank? My wife does that. I don't... I don't know anything about computers. And Chase Bank is your bank, right? Like uh, you have your checking and savings account with the Chase Bank, correct? I don't know that. My my wife takes care of everything. We have a... Okay, so right now, listen to me very carefully. We have a business account with Chase and we are going to send you a four-digit verification code on your online banking message center. So what you need to do, you simply need to log into your account and check did you receive any kind of email or any kind of link on your Chase online banking or not, all right? I don't... You just need to log into your Chase bank. I don't know the passwords and I never did online, but I will try here. This is how my wife does it. <coughs> I'm sorry. You need to put your no. social security number. Okay. I just... I I think that that is in my bedroom and that's locked. Can you just be handy with your checkbook? A checkbook or a debit card? Do you have a debit card with your Chase Bank? No, but I got my checkbook here. Yeah, just put the account number over here. It says, please wait, your system is updating. Holy shit. It's getting updating. What I'll do is simply transfer you the money directly onto your account but before that let me want to tell you like we have a huge banking with the chase we have a business account with chase bank okay all right okay and did you remember the last available balance of both of your checking and the savings uh it might be written here hold on 250,336 dollars Till what time your bank is open? I think so. Your bank is open till five o'clock, right? Yeah, it's open till five o'clock. Yeah. Right. Okay. No problem. So what I'll do, I'll simply transfer you the money within a second. But before that, as I told you, uh, we have a business account with Chase Bank. So the Chase need to verify you something over the computer. They need to ask you some questions over the computer, which you need to answer everything correctly okay. with the help of your keyboard and without making any mistake if you make a single okay so they couldn't log in they couldn't got my bank account logged in so now they're trying to just give me the refund through the notepad so don't make any kind of mistake okay all right all right son don't click or touch anywhere and don't use your mouse okay and at the bottom of the page do you see it says welcome to the chase bank server do you see that yeah, it says, welcome Chase Bank server. Yeah, it's red. Right. Why is it in red? I, I don't like the red color. Because this is a bank verification page, all right? The bank need to verify you but Diana, on the computer. Diana likes the red color as well, so I hate it. Can you change it? Okay, so 
I will definitely change it for you. I'll make it green for you. All right, that's good. I hate everything that my wife loves. She says she's a queen. Okay. But you are the real king. You're a big hearted king, you know. Okay. You can say, say type your full name. So you just need to write down your name, father. And if they ask you what is your refund amount, you just need to type first 200, okay? Because we are sending you the money in two parts payment. So okay. the first transfer which we are going to make is $200 and the second transfer which will be $300. Alright, father? Okay, son. Right, just type 200. 200. Zero, zero. Do you like M&M? Did you type 200? Zero, zero? Yeah. Do you like M&M? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Father, did, uh, did you type 200? I think there is a mistake. Holy shit. I think so you pressed too many zeros. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't, uh, all right, Father, don't click or touch anywhere, okay? Don't click or touch what anywhere. What happened here? It says 20,000. Okay, uh, and don't click or touch anywhere, okay? 20,000 fans in Milan feel like Shah Khan. And don't click or touch anywhere. Right now, the bank will give the last statement that how much money you have received. Right? If you have received 200, then it's fine. But if you have received 20,000, then I can lose my job. All right, Father? I didn't type to, to 20,000, I typed 200, I think. I think so. You have a very bad keyboard. Like when the time you was tapping the zero, might be you press the zero to add. That's why it came there 20,000 apart from 200. Oh, so I have I, a... Don't worry. Just just give me a moment. The bank will give the last statement. I have an abracadabra keyboard. Is that a bad company? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It says... You can see it says 20,000 cents successfully. Do you see that? 20,000. Let me, let me just remove the zero. It can't be removed. It can't be removed. As I said to you, this is a bank verification page. All right? What and do we do here? Removed by so right now, the money which you have received extra, okay, it's not your money, right? So just give me a moment. First of all, we need to check it. Work security, team viewer. How much money you have received? His palms are sweaty, moment, right? knees weak, arms are heavy, they vomit on his sweater already. Uh, I didn't do it intentionally. But so, okay, right I now, my job is on risk. And yeah. you are the one who can save my job right now. Son, you don't okay. worry. I, I, will, I will get you your I money back. You. So, first of all, you just have a look. As, as the previous balance was... Uh, okay, so they're just writing on uh, my notepad. Five thousand dollars on your account, right? I think there is extra twenty thousand. Right, that is extra twenty thousand. So that means, first of all, we need to calculate the amount which is extra on your account. So just bear with me for a moment, right, Father? It's twenty thousand. I know. The money which you got is twenty thousand. Okay. And uh, your refund was four nine nine. That means nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. This is money which is extra on your account. dollars I think. I don't want to steal. One dollar. I don't want to take any right, of your money. I need to have a word with my financial manager regarding the transfer. And he's going to guide me how we can get this money back as soon as possible. I hope they can give me any address where, like, uh, address where we can send check or maybe the cash. All right, uh, just right now I had a word with my financial manager, you know, and he was yelling at me. He told me that, James, how can the customer make such a big mistake? I told him, sir, he's just like my father, and he made a mistake while tapping the zero, and he did not did it intentionally. We need to hide this transaction from your bank, just because why? If your bank will get to know that you have received $20,000 from our Chase business account, then what can happen? They can simply freeze your account for upcoming 28 to 29 days and on oh my they God. can blacklist you. Holy moly. Okay, so what you need to do, you simply need to go to the bank and withdraw this amount of money, which is $19,500. And once you withdraw the cash, then I'll tell you what you need to do with that cash. Once you withdraw the cash, I will give you one address. 
Okay, I will give you one one address. On that address, wow. you simply need to pack that money, and then you need to send that money through that address. Okay. Okay. Once you go to your bank, first of all, you simply need to go to the teller counter, tell them I want to withdraw nineteen thousand five hundred dollars from my checking account. So you don't need to tell them anything I tell that, them that I, re I... I received the money. <laughs> I I'll, received the money no. mistakenly. Don't tell them. Hold on. No, nothing you don't. I'll tell uh -huh. them that I'm withdrawing the money for my son. Right, right. Then take the cash, come out of the bank, come back home, then talk to me. Leave your house right now, drive safely and slowly, and once you reach your bank, withdraw the cash, come back home, then talk to me over the phone that, yes, son, I got the cash with me. Now tell me what I need to do. And let's see which address we're gonna get i will try to make uh, i will try to get the address of the california so it will be easy for uh art and ashton to you know to go there and uh, check who is gonna receive the money first you just put that money inside the envelope <laughs> Yeah. Wrap it very properly. Wrap it in such a manner that the envelope does not appear, alright? Wrap it properly with the aluminium foil paper. I wrapped it twice already. I'm just wrapping it three uh, one more time. Okay. Hold on. Do you have a magazine paper? Alright. I have a nude magazine. Can I put it in that one? Not a nude magazine. You need to put it on a uh, good magazine paper. Alright? Nude is good, right? I don't think it's bad, but okay, I will try to find new magazine here. I have this you need to magazine you put, here, it you says. You need to put the money at the middle of the page. You need to put the money on the middle of the page. It says bang, bang, tape, bang. Tape it okay. with a masking tape. And tape it in such a manner that the uh, aluminium ball okay. does not appear. Alright? Okay. Do you know any UPS store nearby? Oh, yeah. I know it. Well, I'm giving you the address of my billing officer. Okay. Okay, so the guy told him from the behind that just give him a company name. Oh, okay. And this is the name of the company, alright? UNESCO INC. You need to write it down in a piece of paper, alright, Father? I already did it. This is the address on which you need to simply post that parcel, okay? I will tell you how you need to do. Okay, company name is UNESCO INC. Address is Street. And uh, you need to tell them it will be overnight delivery. Don't tell them there is money inside that box, alright? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna call this scammer back now. Uh, so I can just uh, tell him that I'm just gonna send the package tomorrow. It's not possible today. Hello? Son? Yes, father, you there? Yeah. I just came back from the UPS store and they said we are on strike today, but we will open tomorrow at 10 a.m. No problem, no problem. And make sure you don't discuss the situation with your wife. No, 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 I, I can't. I don't share bad with her. How can I share any information? I don't trust her. Okay, Father. Okay, I trust you. I trust you. So I'll call you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning and I'll give you the new address. Okay, I'll give you the new address and the name as well in which you need to send the parcel, alright? Father, if it is possible, like uh, if I give you a new name and a new address right now and you can go on uh, any another UPS store. I'll uh, feel uh, more comfortable if I can get a California address. I do understand your concern, but can right you at now least try? Uh, my financial manager is not at California, so that's the problem I'm facing. If I can get a California address, maybe I can do it uh, by evening. If you get a California address, then you can do it. I can evening, right? I buy this evening, yeah. Maybe through the FedEx I can send it. I'll call you back after half an hour once I receive the new name and the address. 
All right. Did you got the address? Uh, I just requested my financial manager, all right? And uh, right now, as I told you, my job is on risk. So he just gave me one uh, address of California. And the lady is one of a billing officer. His name is Jane. Okay. All right. So first of all, just turn on your computer. And Gina you Jane 5810. Yeah, I see it. You simply need to go to the FedEx. The address is... Yeah. Five eight one zero Sheffield Vera <coughs> Bellwood Ben Nuys California Yeah one four one one I got the overnight delivery I got the address and the delivery uh, time will be ten AM morning and it's my request to you father please 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 it's my humble request to you don't hung up the call because right now my financial manager is just standing next to me and he is barging this phone call. If you hung up the call, he will ask me what's the out call of this call, which I have to give him nothing, then he will simply kick me out of this job. So are you, are you leaving your house right yeah. now? I'm, I'm going to... Uh, okay, father. I'm going to the FedEx now. So the scammer we baited with Barbosa the other day, his name's FaZe, and he's the big mouth guy mm -hmm. with his hands, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the masturbation process. Oh, yeah. So oh. Johnny got a mule address from that guy in New York, but it has to happen like now, and it's just not gonna work. We can't, we talked about it, we can't go to New York this week. It's just not gonna, it's just too much. So Johnny talked to the guy and he went back and forth, and but he got him to give him a California address. In Van Nuys, he got an address. Yes, yes, it sure. is. Wow. That's why I was like, yes, it is. I'm going to need you to go mail a package Great. because I'm parked in the neighborhood. So it'll be a package, but we're going to put, so it's a cash delivery, and we're going to actually put the fake cash in it. Okay. So don't seal anything yet. And we're going to put bright we're tape on it. we got to put bright-ass tape on it like we did for The items. way we did San Francisco, yeah. Okay. Blue or whatever we have that's yeah. bright. Orange, and bright, buried, whatever. Yeah, spot from far away. Okay. And then we're just going to so go Thursday. So you want to a box this time, maybe then, and not an envelope? Because yeah. I feel like a box or like a small this box would be good. Yeah, so it doesn't one cost us seven hundred dollars. And wrap it in bright, stupid tape so that we can yep. see it from across the parking lot. And Thursday first thing Thursday in the morning, morning we'll go and we'll wait until they come and pick it up. Yep, because it's PR box. Yeah. It's box. So Sounds like a deal. So we can do that because it's probably a cutoff yeah. time. Um, Johnny Barbosa, holy moly! So we we're not flying to New York. We're going well, to to I X our who? I would love to, but. The turnaround time for this is too short. We yeah. Just can't. Yeah, we have to execute it immediately. Rescuadissimo. Barbosa. You know what's up. We'll see you soon. Yes, father. This is James Morgan, your son. You got the receipt? Uh, yeah, I, I got the tracking number for you. Uh, can you uh, wrote it down? Can you write it? All right, just give me a moment. My wife. She beat me up. Your wife beat you up? She break my leg. And my nose too. And did did you told her anything? Not not yet. She said that she said that uh, you must be giving this money to someone to kill me. She saw the money uh, missing. Oh my uh, it was she money go was. To the police and just uh, file a case against your wife. Then she saw the money in. Um, she saw the money missing from her room because I took it from her account. <laughs> I'm very smart. Yeah. Right, just tell me the tracking number. Uh, it's two seven. It says scheduled delivery Thursday 24 before 10:30 a.m. Click the picture of the receipt and send me in this number. Would you just check your message? What I told you. No. You check your message. No message. You, you we just message. spoke on the phone. We like just spoke name. on the phone. We just spoke on the phone, and you told me send it to Gina. When the time I called you, you no. told me that I'm on the line. There is a busy no. day. That time I gave you the new name and the address. No. And that point of time I told you. That point of time I told you that. I'm giving you a new name. I don't want to listen to anything. I have sent it to Gina. You receive it, you don't receive it. I have I have added a return address. It will return to me. You believe I will keep in it. Jesus is my humble request to you. Please send the picture of the receipt. Why that do you need the picture important. of the receipt? Why do you it, need that? If I don't get if I don't get the receipt, the picture of the receipt, Father, I will not be able to get the money and I will lose my job. No. 
You lose your job, I don't care. I have sent you the money. I can't give you personal information. That is the thing. I just need to just send the picture of the receipt so I can just clarify with my billing team because see, from last night I'm sitting in the office. But you said, you said you, don't send right? it to Gina. Gina is not there. I have already sent it to Gina. So what do you do now? You just go inside the FedEx and tell them I, I just made a mistake. I want to change the name and the address. You just check your inbox and that, send you the new is that, name and the address. Is that name in California? Yes, yes, that name is send on California. Me, send me the address first. Can you text me the address? Just write it on my computer. I'm turning it on. The name is Barbosa. I take you to the ship. And you will cry, my son. Your father will be there to take care of you. I think so today you're in a very happy mood. No, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm angry because you changed the address. Uh, the name will be Chess uh, Leo. I got it. The address is 140 W Los Angeles Avenue, Moore Park, California 93021. Uh, address of a company or what? Okay, this is our billing officer. Hold on, let me check this address. It's a Walgreens a address. That's a home address. It says it's a Walgreens address. This is a legend address which I give it to you, Father. This Please is Walgreens. This is Walgreens. This is not a legend address. Who will, who is at the Walgreens? You just go and get your package back. No, take no, your no, money no, no, no. This is crazy. It, uh, leave the way as this it is. This is crazy. Right? Oh my God. Now, now it is going up on uh, like up of my head. No. Because just because of you, I'm losing my job. You so gave me. I think so right now, like the behavior. You gave me the Walgreens yesterday. address. You gave me the Walgreens address. What is this? I already it's posted not, it's that. It's not. It's not. It's not. There it says it's Walgreens. Feet. Can you see it here? It says it's Walgreens. I know that there is. I know that there is Walgreens, but there's a billing team. No. Over there, there is I, a I, billing team. I was team. dealing with the paper, not with the Walgreens. Hey, Pop Tart. Yeah. You're gonna hate me. What? I need, Fuck you off. I need you to go back to FedEx. FedEx can suck it. I know. Well, no, it's the scammer that can suck it. The scammer's being a fucking tool, so apparently the person we sent it to isn't gonna be there now. So I need you to see if you can change the address. Everybody fucking needs AM right now. Yes, okay. Yeah. It's it's also local. It's just okay. in Moore Park. It's a little more northwest. Okay. Ask them if they can change it from where we had it to this one, same return address. Sorry. Okay. Um, it's the scammer. Yeah, it's the root of all of our problems. A cash package with $19,500 is finally on its way to Moore Park, California. And we want to see who's there to pick it up face to face. Let's go. So, Johnny's Barbosa, so he's an old man, okay? Uh, he lives at home, he's locked in one room because Diana doesn't let him out, okay? Diana diagnoses uh, his wife, but she cheats on him, she beats him, and she's horrible to him. Uh, he's old as fuck, okay? His name is, uh, Barbosa's his last name. His first name is like something out of Lord of the Rings, like uh, Larendas Barbosa or something. And the scammer, <laughs> and the scammer bought it. So he, he creates, so he has this, uh, um, I guess on Mac it would be called terminal, but on, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what's called on PC. But basically, where you type commands in for the mm -hmm. computer, it's all horse shit. But he has this whole thing. It just looks like a bunch of code. He said, "Okay, we're gonna do it in two payments: two hundred and then three hundred. So type two hundred. And so he types two hundred, and the scammer adds two more zeros, so it's twenty thousand. Mm. Uh, and he says, "Oh my God, what did you do? What did you do? You type twenty thousand. I'm gonna lose my job." And it starts <laughs> this whole thing. And Bob is like, "Don't worry, I'll remove the zeros." And he starts. To <laughs> It's already been done. You have to see. And That's then he hilarious. goes back to the notepad. <laughs> he goes back to the notepad, and all the scammer has done is changed the balance on the notepad that Johnny has just verbally told him the balance. Wow. All right, well, on the right. Let's see again. Walgreens on the left. Yep. You should turn and go in there. Yeah. I've never seen a FedEx inside a Walgreens. I don't understand. All right, that prescription, go through, drive through. Go through. Let's go get your hemorrhoid medicine. Yes. Okay. This is you, T-Dex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> T-Dex is waiting. <laughs> it's a good sign. One entrance, motherfucker, huh? 
Okay, that's good. Maybe I and back in right here? Yes. I'm a little sticking out, but is this okay? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I can see the door. My name was actually But I mean, I can't baby. see. Oh. I mean, yeah, we would, if he goes right, if he comes out and goes right, we're getting out and chasing that dude. Of course, as long as we can see the door and see potentially the box. The only th hard thing is if he comes out that door, it makes a really and hard make it right. right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. If he makes a really hard right and the box is not fully visible, mm. we're gonna miss that shit. We're gonna miss it. I want at least one person to see the door at all times. So if you guys are gonna walk down around the building, let me stay here then. Okay. Um, maybe film with your phone or something. So, no yeah, he's gonna to come to the parking lot. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, look at that right there. Check out Western Union FedEx. Quick question. What time do you normally get your FedEx deliveries? This is like what a... time do we get them delivered? Yeah. Okay, could be throughout the whole day. Okay, there's no average there. time or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, no. Awesome. And it's all gets delivered, uh, delivered over here, right? So, yeah. this section. refresh the tracking and it says scheduled delivery Thursday by the end of the day what the fuck why I don't know it said by 10 30 a.m. this whole time until just now and we pay money for to expedite right to be here delivered by 10 30 and it's 10 35 no package yeah Johnny says mule is there waiting somewhere and he sent me a screenshot the scammer said, Same one. Father, it's been om almost around 10.30, but the receiver have not re yet received the parcel. And so, and then I said, how do you know he's waiting? He says, the scammer told me he's waiting. He's sitting and waiting for me. So look, this uh, guy who just pulled up uh, is an Indian dude. He pulled up in this I van. I saw that. Which and van? I, was it the van or no, it was the Mercedes. It wasn't that van. Yeah, there was a Mer It's this Mercedes right here, right? That's... That yes, case. that one right there. He didn't get out, right? Is his phone in his so. hand right there? No, he did. Because there is nobody in the front uh, seat. I can't tell if there's someone in the front seat. If you're collecting 19, 20 grand per person, it does make sense that you're driving, driving like them, a yeah. nice Mercedes-Benz, right? SUV, so... We'll see. FedEx truck is on the move. One of those Jeffries. Yeah, but he ain't in his house, so... Yep. You cannot beat that. He though. went back, he went right in the back of the truck again, didn't go to the driver's seat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's putting it like I said. So he only laid basically while he's gonna deliver 30 minutes. And that 30 minutes cost money, so... Post office, I need my money back. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna watch the door. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I need to. Now he's got an envelope. Shutting the door. Oh, uh, but I think he's gonna go back because there is no. What is our is he heading to Walgreens? He's headed this way. Yeah, I don't want to spook him with the camera. There's no package. No package. Oh, fuck. No, he's watching us. Okay. Where's our package? Dude. Maybe he's got redirected. Hold on, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, brother. Hey, Johnny. I just texted you. FedEx just walked in, but he didn't have our package. He only has an envelope. Okay. Just the envelope? Yeah. yeah. So our I just called the scammer, and uh, I, I told him that I received a call from FedEx, and they said we are on the location, and no one is here, so... Scammer told me that uh, just wait two to three minutes. I'm, I'm sending someone. Just tell FedEx to wait there. Um, that's well, cool, but there is no package. That's the problem. Yeah, there's nothing to wait well, for. No, yeah, nothing to freaking. Unless we pretend to be FedEx. Yeah. Uh, how do? How do we know the guy? Like who is? Uh, we don't have a dummy box, do we? No. Yeah, that's the problem. So right now FedEx saying that uh, box or uh, delivery gonna be by the end of the uh, day. 
and we pay, we expedite, we pay extra to be get de uh, delivered before 10.30. Now it says, you saw the, you saw the message, Thursday, by the end of the day. Yeah, I see it, it's, it's, yeah, by the end of the day, okay. Can so you... the plan now? Should we wait? Well, I we, think we could wait, but if the scammer's wait. willing to send a guy, like, if there's just a way we can give him an instruction, you know, wait by something so we know it's him, and then we don't even need a package. Like We will not have package for him. He, he might argue right. with that, that I haven't anything. Yeah, he don't have, like, there is no evidence in his hand. He did not get the package, the one that we sent with money. Can you, can you guys get at least a box, maybe? Uh, any box? Uh, probably could, yeah, inside Walgreens, or even just ask them for one. Yeah, maybe, maybe that will, because he will recognize the box, I will tell the scammer that it's in the box and the delivery person is just waiting on the road. Yeah, waiting in front of uh, Walgreens. Mm -hmm. Walgreens, yeah. Can you, do you want to schmooze okay. and see if they can give you a box and a tape? Let's see if Mercedes guy, where he's at. Yeah, store. maybe he's standing near the, uh, the uh, counter waiting. Okay. Oh. Scammer is, is calling me, so I'm just going to pick up his okay, phone and go, see. Let me, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Okay. Okay, bye. Keep your phone around. Yes. Um, and you, you never know if the mule's in there, so just, you know. Of course. D yeah, just talk normal. I just need to get, uh, need my, okay, I'm going to get my wallet on this side, money, I will get a box and okay. just figure out. Jim, you guys have um, you guys have a double A batteries, right? Yes, I'm right okay, here. Thank you. Double A. Are you working around here? Yes. What are you doing? Uh, we actually, I'm in sports, in basketball. Oh. Uh, double. I'm like, okay, I saw you more than two times. Yes. What are you doing now? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to purchase a box? No, not not like one of these ones. You guys don't have any any little boxes? Uh, if we had any boxes, they'd be on aisle five. Aisle five? Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. Wouldn't be funny if someone called about us sitting in the fucking parking lot. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody. Just this one, please. Okay. Do you have a phone number with this? Yes. Okay, so I, I just talked to this camera and he said, uh, uh, my guy is already waiting inside the Walgreens, tell FedEx to go inside and ask for the name, he will receive it. He, he's inside, that's what he said. Okay, one second, I'm talking to, uh, talking to Ashton. Okay. One second, stay on the phone. Talking to so, how do we... Get him to come out, you gotta get him to come outside. Who? The guy, he's gotta come outside. We can't do it inside. We can't do the confrontation inside. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, one second, really quick, really quick, hold on. Okay, while Ash and Ashton got inside. Okay, say it again. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, so the scammer told me that uh, my guy is waiting inside the Walgreens. Just ask for his name. He is standing there. He will receive it inside. And Sean saying we should not con do confrontation inside. We need to get the scammer outside of right, Walgreens. Right. Cashier lady, when I went back to get package, and she was like, "You coming back and back? Are you working here? What do you do for a living?" She started questioning, and I was like, yeah. "I'm a basketball player." So we been just tell. Can you call the scammer and say the FedEx already went inside? He they're outside now because they have other deliveries. Just try to get him outside. And yeah. Tell him like he need to go do uh, other deliveries, and uh, he's holding box. You're I'll gonna... stand right over here in front of uh, yeah. right by the building. Okay, all right, let me, let okay. me, uh, are you still standing with the clipboard or a box? Yes, yeah. I am right now, yes. Yeah. Just say he's outside and he, he need to do another deliveries, he didn't have time to go inside, okay? Okay, all right. Then. Okay, awesome, thank you. So, who is that fuck face? Yeah, who went inside who and is... hasn't come back out in a while? Yeah, yeah. You know what, I'm gonna go.
Can you hear me? Yeah? Okay. Come on, come play with us, fucking asshole. I know, Sean, you can hear me. Okay, we have triangle. Yeah, talk to me. He's working as a part-time? He's, he's working? Working, right? Work, working. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna text session right now because he stands by himself. Okay, copy that. Thank you. Hey. Uh, I literally was joking about this, if scammer gonna be an employee. So Johnny called the, the scammer and, uh, and uh, I mean the boss, and the boss said like the uh, Cash, uh, Cash Mule is part-time Walgreens employee. He cannot go outside. He's already working. So what she? do we need to? It's she? Uh, it's he, he. He. I don't know. Okay. He just said like he's already working and he's waiting. He said just go inside, go to the counter, ask for that person and say like, hey, I have a delivery for you. So what I can do, I can go inside, I will stay in an aisle, you know, like behind the main counter, and I will have your back. So you go with the package and ask for the name, and then I will approach you. Okay, I guess but uh, I, I'm just wondering, I don't look like FedEx, so if they're like, I want I'd rather get them outside, I don't want to do it inside. He said, the, the scammer said he cannot, he, he cannot uh, go outside because the, um, the, uh, the, the employee is working. Okay. Um, do you, do you want to, since he's not inside, you want to get in the car and just like regroup and uh, think what are we going to do? Um, uh, we need to, we need to come up with a plan. If box is empty and we're bluffing, there is, uh, he's going to say, go fuck yourself. Right. That's what I want. Let's go in the car. It doesn't matter. The scammer is inside. He's a, he's a working well, for an employee. That's only if a scammer is not full of shit. This, that, could, that could all be a trick. Um, Johnny said, all I did, he was like, this is all I can do. He was like, I said, go outside, and he was like, no. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I can go in and ask, but if there's no... And the main cashier girl, she already, she was like, hey, you're coming back and forth, what are you doing? What do you do for a living? She asked me what I'm doing for a living. And I was like, yo, I'm a fucking, I'm a basketball player, I train people. Fuck. We need to call Johnny. Let's go back in the car and call Johnny. All right, all right. Um, here we go, let's call Johnny again. Johnny. Hey. What happened? We just got, no, Ashton was standing outside and we're doing our like, you know, like watching each other back triangle. And uh, we're trying, we got in the car and we're trying to see what we can do because we don't, we have a dummy box without nothing. There's no cash or anything. There's no it's cash, there's empty. no, it's empty box. So we already, when I went inside, the cashier girl, she was like, hey, you, are you work here? Are you coming in and out? And I was like, hey, I'm a basketball player, whatever. I was like, you know, I work for a sports company. So she was already like asking me so many questions. Now we're gonna show up, three of us, with the empty box, with no money, with no name on it. So that's the other thing too, because you said that he told you that the guy works here, but originally he said, oh, I'm gonna send somebody. They'll be there in five minutes. What if he's so bluffing? It could all be a, a trick. Yeah, what scammer told me that uh, said, go to the reception or go to the counter and ask for the name. Uh, the guy, the guy works inside the Walgreens and he, he will be at the counter. That's what he said. But but that he could just be referring to the person who, that collects the package. You know, like the Walgreens is supposed to receive all the packages and then they disperse them to people. So. That's actually true. That's the main desk when you come and you yeah. ask like... FedEx is supposed to go to the desk, leave the packages with, the, with them and they sign for it. Yeah. And then you give it to the guy when he shows up. But doesn't mean that person works for Walgreens. He does work, but and his job just, is actually that could just That could just be the scammer lying, you know? And if we go in with this empty box and cause a scene, uh, it might fuck us in the end. Can you... Uh, I don't think there's any way to get the mule's number, is there? Yeah, I tried to ask him for the number, but he's not willing me to give, give his number. But of course, yeah, fucking I'll, sketchy I'll asshole. Well, you can tell him that FedEx asked for it, yeah. you know? Say, hey, we can call from FedEx, ca FedEx can deliver it to him faster if he if they can call him. Or but, he can wait until the end of the day. But otherwise, they got to wait till yeah. the end of the day. Maybe that's going to be our trick. Yeah. Just try to play their own so game against them. Again, okay. We'll okay. okay. All right, good work, Johnny. Sounds good, Barbosa. Ciao. I have a feeling he doesn't work there. I just, that doesn't feel right to me. 
And I feel like if we go in there with an empty box and no, try to play this no, whole charade, uh, no, no, it's not no, going to help. No, it's no, it's going to just. Is there any more than that one lady at the desk? Oh yeah, it's three. Johnny just texted and said, "Give me your number." Scammer said, "Give me delivery person's number." That's great. But that wouldn't be realistic. You wouldn't have the delivery person's phone number. You would have FedEx support. Okay, I'll give him my text now. Number. Yeah. And I'll tell the scammer to tell the mule to wait by the no left turn sign for the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant. Yeah, I think that should be. Yep. <laughs> bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. They feeding us bullshit. Mm -hmm. We feeding them bullshit. All right, that's the part of the game. What's happening? No, I just said let me know when he calls you. See if he calls me. Okay. FedEx dispatch, this is Charlie. Dis dispatch, this is Charlie. Hello? Yeah, I'm speaking with the guy who worked with for the FedEx. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, you just uh, was about to send a parcel to Mr. Chess Leo, right? Chess Leo, yes. Uh, I was just in the area there a few minutes ago, but there was no one... Uh, uh, no one to receive it, so... Uh, Sir, you, you just need to go, in, uh, go inside the store, okay? And you just need to drop the package at the reception, all right? Yes, but I got a phone call. I got a phone call from mm -hmm. the sender who told me mm -hmm. that uh, that there was somebody mm -hmm. waiting for it or something. So um, I uh, this is kind of against protocol, but I'd be happy to pull back through. I've already done my dispatch for this location. So if we, uh, if you have your receiver can wait outside, I can drive by and have him sign for it. Because if you're out of delivery, but on the tracking ID, it's not showing over here, that's your out for delivery. Right. Even. Well, it's out for delivery. Right. I have it in my truck. But what I'm saying is I've already, I've right already. No, it's not even a, I've already. Right now, it's not even updated. And the guy who is just, uh, he's, a, he's working over there, okay, just Leo. So you just need to do one thing. You just go and drop the package. No, sir. This is this is a high. Tell them. This is an express signature required delivery. I can't dispatch a repeat uh, drop off. I need your receiver to be here face to face outside, and I can have him sign for it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to return to sender. Then do one thing. Then do one thing. Do one thing. You just go inside the store. Go to the reception. And ask them where is Mr. Chess Leo. I already did yeah. that, and they're not there. So I need Chase or whoever it is to come outside with if, a photo if identification. It, if, it, if he's not there, sir, just wait for ten to fifteen minutes. All right, I'll tell him to give you twenty twenty dollars as a tip money. All right. Well, but I understand. But it's this is against. I, I need him to be outside. I can't go in and do another dispatch at this location because it's going to put my schedule out of whack. So. There's a fire hydrant I saw outside the Walgreens. Have him wait there and I'll be there in 15 minutes. Sorry? Have your receiver go to a fire hydrant. It's right outside of the store and I can pull up in my van mm -hmm. and give it to him. Mm -hmm. But I can't park and redo do another dispatch. It's against my protocol. So have your receiver it's wait. A request to you, sir. It's a request. I understand, but I can't lose. I can't lose my job. I have other deliveries. I can't lose my job. So if your guy wants his package, he needs to come outside to the fire hydrant, and I will pull up and give it to him quickly. It's an overnight delivery, right? It's an express delivery. Yes, but I had no receiver here, so I had to take it back. If I don't get, the receiver if I don't, is there. the receiver is there when I am telling you. Well, the sender is telling you. Listen, drop sir. The package at the, sir. When the sender sir. is telling you. Sir, but you're you're listen, you. sir. You are. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not customer support for FedEx. You can call their number, the 800 number. I'm just a local driver. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what I can do. You need to wait. Have your mm -hmm. receiver wait outside. I cannot repark and redispatch my orders here to Walgreens. Yeah, Please so have him come outside. Or, where, where are you standing right now? I, I am in my right truck, but I can pull up by a fire hydrant. There's a fire hydrant outside of yeah. Walgreens, right by the street. Right, exactly. I will pull up and give him the package. Okay, there's a fire hydrant next to the wall screen, right? Yes, have him come there. I will park my van and I will I will give him the package there in 15 minutes. 
Go, okay, just give me five minutes. I'm just trying to contact him. Thank, thank you. Right? Thank you. But uh, right now I'm tracking the track uh, tra tracking number. It says uh, you are not out for delivery. Yeah, the tr I that. because I didn't drop off the package, so I had to reset it. It's going to return to sender if someone doesn't get this from me now. But you should do that first, right? You should do that first. Okay, I I I don't control I don't control the tracking links. I'm a delivery driver. I have nothing to do with the tracking links. It's all automated. So you got to call customer support if you have an issue there. I'm just telling you, I have a parcel here for let's see, Chess Leo, and if he wants it, I can pull up and give it to him. Otherwise, it's going to return to sender. Okay, just wait for five minutes. Five. Just wait for five to ten minutes. I'm calling the uh, re receiver. Okay. Thank you. Can you fucking believe this oh fucking God. shit? I just spoke to the scammer as the driver and he bought it. He bought every word of it. So he's going to call me back, I think. So he's going to right now to talk to Chess and, Leo. And then I'm going to wait by the fire hydrant and just keep the cameras on me until, yep. until yep. we're good. This motherfucker you don't said, have no, a, this you don't is have, your job. You don't have a pen, do you? I have a pen. Okay. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Can I have it? Yes. Um, Can, wow, unreal. he was pushy as motherfucker. All right. Okay, Thank I'm you. gonna go stand over there. You'll hear me in the mic. So if he calls me back, uh -oh. you wanna write here first? Just write something so we we'll like at least you have something. He said, "Do me one thing. Go inside, and I will give you twenty dollars." <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. If he calls off. me back, I'll answer. Okay. Bye, Felicia. Uh huh. Robin is simply working for real companies and picking up the underground, um, picking up fucking 20 grand packages under the table. Fuck, are we in Russia? Wow. Okay, uh, Sean, um, the text that Johnny got from the scammer says, tell the FedEx guy to drop the parcel at the reception or else cancel the package you will get it back within three to four business days. So they're playing games. The mule is probably here. Hey. It was a disaster. Um, anyways, um, Scammers is playing games and he said he didn't want to come up. So how about he already talked to you, he has your voice and he recognized your voice. And if you have, you have his number, like um, um, Johnny, he was trying to merge a three-way call and it was it's, it became disaster. Can you call and say like, hey, I have five minutes, or I'm gonna fucking take this box and I'm gonna deliver like, you know, whatever, later or I'm gonna send back to the sender. We have five minutes to come out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Call that fucker back. I will. Hello? Yes, hello. This is Charlie. Yeah, this is James. Uh, this? Uh, yeah, this is Charlie from FedEx. Um, what is the update? I am waiting here by the fire extinguisher, uh, but I gotta go. I'm already behind and I'm not even supposed to be working today. So, can you help me out and send your guy here so we can move this on? Yeah, I, I already told you. If you can, you can just drop the package at the reception. If no. you can't, you can just cancel it and do whatever you feel like. I'm going to have to return it to sender then because I can't go back okay, in. They might, return, might... return it to the sender. Return it to the sender because uh, that's not express seal, uh, seal, uh, like an express overnight delivery. I think so, all right? Yeah, I'm, it's express because overnight you, delivery and I'm, I went out of my way. You guys are doing something wrong. Okay? No, I you delivered it earlier complain. and no one was there. I'm gonna complain on it. Sir, you need to just definitely gonna complain on it. That's fine. You can complain to customer care. I'm just telling you, I am a driver, I am here, I have the package. I'm not allowed to go back into the establishment. What's your duty? What's your duty? If you're a driver, what's your duty? Sir, sir let me what's your um, duty? Sir, I'm trying to explain. I am not allowed to re enter my dispatch location. I've already done a batch of transactions there. My boss is Tracking my vehicle and tracking my mobile phone. If I go inside the store again, I'm going to get written up because I was supposed to have dropped it off already. He's going to think I'm doing personal errands. I'm on the street right now, so my boss doesn't know that. I can give you the package, but you, he's got to take a few steps outside. Don't you tell me that you're doing this for the first time? 
Okay. You tell me you're doing this for the first time. Sir. Like you're dropping some package to uh, some uh, store. Sir, with, uh, when a guy is not available. Sir, I am not customer care. You're going to have to take that up with corporate. I am the driver. I am here with the package. If your guy is here, he can come get it. That's all I have to tell you. So, are you are you, you going to like marry with that, that, that guy? You want to marry with that guy? We're, okay, I, I don't have time for this. I don't know what the I don't even know who you are. So if if if, if your receiver Chess Leo wants it, I'm standing outside here. Sean, uh, by a fire uh, fire extinguisher. What a fucking disaster. Uh, no way, problem. You can just uh, take your time and you just go wherever you want. Okay, to be, like, okay so we're we're gonna cancel the delivery. You're not gentlemen. We're gonna you're cancel the delivery. Okay. Seems like he's a real fucking employee. You're not gentlemen. You just cancel it. Okay. Sean, we got cops here. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I'll return to sender. Uh, okay. We have a whole... Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, shit is going down. Okay, shit is going down. Come on. Okay. I'm with them. You're I'm with This is my car, yeah. Yeah. Uh, How you doing? Good, good, good. I was just curious. That everybody's kind of concerned what you guys are doing. Are Someone guys... called from a uh, business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They just said you guys are going in around the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, guys, uh, I'm with them. This is my business card. We, um, what do you guys? We scam busters. We're uh, busting a scammer. So, we have a cash mule who's supposed to receive 19500 from from a victim. And we, we just we sent a package. It's called Dummy Package. What we do, it's a call refund scam. So, this is us. What? So I understand correctly. This is us, Trilogy Media. We're production okay. company. Okay. okay. So we send that package overnight with a FedEx delivery. So scammers supposed to pick up that package over here. I see. So okay. that's when we, that's why we. I, yes. I see. Okay. So we went a couple times to use the restroom because we're sitting in our bush <laughs> yeah. for like literally I three hours. I want to see some of this video footage. Yeah, oh, so it's, I'm it's, already... <laughs> you guys plan on like intervening with the person or...? Well, what we do is we take it, we get the key person on camera, we expose it, and then we give it to whoever, whatever the commercial crimes division is We've local, or we have a couple of guys at the uh, 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 Homeland Security that we yeah. send our leads to and everything. We got so. called here, so... Good! Yeah, that's good! Actually good. Yeah, that's we were going to so actually good. call you yeah. once we found the guy, Gosh, but he's not here yet. Can we tell about that employee? Well, the scammer claims that the employee is one of is the mule, but I don't yeah. believe that. So. All right. Well, if thank you so much, guys, for checking. South, then call us. We will. Yeah. We will. I <laughs> literally standing over there and I was like, "Hey, when he gonna receive that package? And if he's employee of Walgreens, I'm fucking calling police." Was yeah. it Walgreens that called? I don't know. Oh. I, I'm not, not even sure who called. Uh, we're not trying to hide. We're no. We're red, literally so. like <laughs> waiting to red-handed to bus him with that 19.5. All these. That's why I was asking if you guys because that's got to be super. Well, well, the problem we run into every single time when we cops are called or whatever, when we have the guy, it's like, hey, you guys are just scam baiting. There's no victim here. So nothing is ever, nothing can happen. So yeah. we take the footage, we expose their face, we send it to the feds, whatever they want to do with it. We don't know what they do with yeah. it. But yeah. If you ever do it back in Moorpark or Ventura County, just let the local agency know. Can we call you and get, sure. get Can we get help? a card? Can we get yeah. any card That would be awesome. Yeah, we would have to give you guys footage if we're going to find it. We, we would love, yeah. Give yeah. us a heads up helps us because okay. if people, so basically the call went out as somebody sitting in a red BMW and then a second person that keeps walking the back and they're doing hand signals. Do so, oh. doing hand signals. <laughs> hand back signals? And forth. Yeah. Oh. That, that's what that's what came out to us. Yeah. So, that's sketchy. So obviously, you know, from our point of view, it's like, okay, what's going on? And we get yeah, yeah. a lot of uh, retail organized type crime thefts from like places and stuff. like totally. Walgreens. Yeah. Ice is trying to get a heat or something. Yeah, that makes so sense. That's yeah. That's why we came with so many people no, because I, we thought possibly, you know, maybe that's organized what's going on, retail yeah. theft, something yeah. going on. But uh, obviously nothing like that at all. I have my Google glasses. My camera guy, he's listening yeah. because I have my con. So yeah. we all like, okay, scammers don't want to come out and yeah. the delivery. You know. So here's here's all of our phone numbers and stuff. Usually we give this to like somebody who awesome. we're, when we're generating a report. So uh -huh. I'm not gonna put a report number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. But these are all of our phone. Here, Spur Spurber. Yeah, right, yeah, that'd right be right awesome just to know yeah, who we talk, sure. we talk to. Just oh, be okay. really careful. I know. You know, because we, you're, I know, talking big amounts of money. It's it's dangerous. Yeah, we know. These people, you know, are obviously engaged in criminal activities. Yeah, we've been threatened to be shot more than once. Very careful. We we had cash mills opening doors with guns with want to shoot our uh, DP guys us. so yeah, yeah. We, we went through a lot yeah they didn't like tell us to not go in the store if we so wanted to go we... ask them at the front desk if anyone by that name I don't was. even know if it you was didn't know from which okay. side okay I just so... don't want to go in if we're not allowed to you know go in no no, no they didn't say not go in. Okay. nobody they just if wanted they to make sure we... leave yeah if they see us leave and you guys still here they'll know yeah. hey real quick where's the accent where's your accent oh I'm from Belarus 
Belarus. Yeah, nice. yeah. I was born in the Soviet Union. I'm from Belarus. Okay, very and cool. And the rest is Me my too. American brothers. Yeah. Really? No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm the only one with the accent. I'm the one that. That's why I'm knocking the door. Hello, my friend. I have a delivery for you. <laughs> <laughs> and they usually. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, very cool. <laughs> guys, thank you for your really, service. Thank, thank you, you so much, guys. Thank nice you. to meet you too. All right, boys. Yeah, I told the guys that we. What are we gonna do? I said since our cover is already blown. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, there's no hiding out anymore. There is, there is Plus, no... the scammer told me to return it to sender. Yeah. Let's go see if he works or not. Leo. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you good? Good. Is there anyone here that works here named Leo? 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 Yeah. Leo Chess? Leo? No? No? Leo? Yeah. What is your name? Ralph. Ralph? No. There is no Leo? No. Or Chess? Mr. Chess? Anyone like that? No? no. Not okay. even in that department? For FedEx? UPS, FedEx? I'm just our manager, so I know everybody that works here. Okay. Oh, you are? Okay. All right. Yeah. So it was. Um, All right. That's cool. All Thank you so much, know. guys. Thank you. Hi. Hello. She's filming. Mm hmm. Did you get the license plate? <laughs> Huh? got your license plate. Good. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's not a secret. <laughs> who's, who's calling? Yeah, this is James Morgan, your so-called son. What happened? I told you I will be calling you after half an hour, so it took me a long time just because I was in a meeting with the Federal Bureau of Inve uh, Investigation FBI, with the FBI people. My company called the FBI people just to get me arrested because they think that I have taken that $19,000 from my company's money. And you are one of my relatives and I have sent that money to you. So that's the uh, reason I am just getting arrested. What do you want me to do now? If you are an honest person and if you I am a, want listen my to me. job. Listen to me first, okay? You asked me to send the money. Okay. I did that. I changed the address to Vice. Okay. And you're saying that your guy is in the hospital, his, his wife is pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a, that's my fault. That's your fault. All right. I did what I can. So like, don't you care if somebody is pregnant and uh, he's taking care of his wife? That's not my fault. That's good. If, if his, if his wife is pregnant, she's having a baby. Suppose, that's good. Suppose you just think, suppose if you just think like uh, you was on the uh, receiver's place and your wife was pregnant at that My wife time. can't be what pregnant. You You're offending done? me here. I'm gay. You're gay? My wife can't be pregnant. I can't do no, ziggy I'm, ziggy. What I'm telling is suppose if your wife is pregnant. My wife can't be pregnant time. because I can't do ziggy ziggy. That's what I'm saying. It offends me. Uh, you, can you give me any that's other example? You, that's why your wife is cheating in back of you. Yeah, that's the reason. How do you know that? You only told me that right now. No, I can't do jiggy jiggy. That doesn't mean she can cheat on me. You can do cheeky cheeky and your wife have your, uh, the video recording with Natasha. That was 20 years ago when I was young. I'm old now, I can't do anything. But you didn't help me about my a problem with my wife. You said you will give me a solution. Yeah, I told you I will give you the solution. You, you, you told me that the, uh, she is still blackmailing you with that video. So you can just do one thing. You have the phone with you. Do you have a phone with you? I deleted you can that just already. Take out the video and delete, delete the but video. she have it in the, in the pen drive. You send the money, but uh, you will get it back within the next two days. But why didn't you receive it? Because Tell you, me, what's the problem? I don't have that much of trust on you that did you send the money or not. I have gave you the because tracking number. What else do you need? I just gave you the tracking number. I put the money there. Did you check the box? Did you open the box? You didn't. The, the, I think so after seeing the $20,000, you have just changed your mind. I didn't change my mind. More money, you, you said you're my me, father. You said you're my father. Is is this how you talk to your father? Why can't you send the money through via transfer? I will give you the account detail. You simply go to the bank. I have a condition here. If you 
want your money back. You have to, no. you have to rap for me. You have to rap something. But no, if you do it, well, do it, it or I will you, hang up, hang up the call. It's up to you. you this is what I want. You, you want your money. See right now, you want twenty right thousand. You gotta rap for me, baby. I I can't rap. I can't rap. You gotta I sing for me. Rap. I I don't know singing. I don't even know song. No. You can repeat after me if I say something. Can you repeat it after me? Yeah, definitely. Look, if you have one shot or one opportunity. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you I will teach you. Ever this wanted. is how it goes. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip it? Yo. The vomits on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti is nervous, but on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he, but he keeps on getting what he wrote down. <laughs> Are you happy now? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Actually, you are a born rapper. When you was teaching me the things, I was, the tears were coming out of my eyes. Like, I really miss my dad, you know. I really miss my dad. Guys, you must be going, I think, you must be feeling sad here, but there's nothing to be sad because whatever he is saying is, it's all a lie. There's nothing truth in it. He's just trying to trap me so I can do the wire transfer now. To maybe some up. foreign country. Because he used to drink, drink a lot, and he passed away from a liver cancer. This is these are the lessons which we get from God. His God is testing this us. This is all right? just the brainwash. How we can to just to make me feel are, emotional. He's just trying to get money out from me. That's it. The things, There's nothing real in it. Just we are trying a little best. I've just sent you a very beautiful poem. It will give you just some strength. Can you check if you received any text? Don't give up no matter what you're facing. I'm feeling like to cry, you know. You don't have to so cry. So you can be. <laughs> I'm feeling so crying here. Are you sad too? I'm just missing my dad, you know. I, I am like your dad. I'm just struggling from a very <laughs> bad time, you know. I wish, like I just wish that I could get a time machine and get my dad back. I think oh that I can hug him very tight. You made me cry. I just wish <laughs> I can hug him tight and tell him that that I love you and I miss you. This guy can go. <laughs> oh my God! This this guy is a pro. So now he's really definitely going to talk to me know. about the money. Tell me what I have to do. I do that for you. I don't want you to lose your job and your family just have food to eat. Can I call you dad? Can I call you dad if you don't mind? Yeah, I am your dad. You can call me dad. Yeah, I'm just like your father. Just send me the so... white transfer details whenever you have it. I promise you in just 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes. Drive till my bank. I want to let you down. All right, Dad. I trust you, Dad. Hey, I, trust I love you. you. Dad. I love you so much. How? I'll call you tomorrow at nine yeah. o'clock in the morning. And how, do you mind if I ask you how old are you? I'm just forty-two years old. Forty-two. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'm twenty, and my son is forty-two. You are so young, but I think I'm, I'm more young than you, I'm younger than you, I feel like <laughs> I'm, I'm still young, <laughs> Definitely. I'm still young. <laughs> My dad is always young. Yeah, Just I will like remain you. young. Yeah. Okay, son, take care and, and call and me tomorrow, too, please. And you just 
and you just save my number and apart from this number that if you receive any phone calls from any other number don't answer those phone calls. I know calls. those are the hackers I want numbers. I want I have your personal number I I won't talk to anyone else block every uh, every, every unknown number. phone number yeah no block no every no phone, phone calls number. only my son and and just save my number I have saved okay. it all right dad Take care, Bissam. You Take finished care. your dinner? Yeah, I, I just did my dinner. Have a good day. Bye bye. Love you. Love you too, Dad. Can you give me a kiss? Well, hello there again. If you haven't yet clicked to subscribe on this YouTube channel, Trilogy Media, please consider doing it. It's completely free and it helps us tremendously to keep growing these efforts, growing our resources, keep the channel growing, and help us keep exposing scammers every single day. If you'd like to support us financially, although never expected of anybody, we do have a PayPal link that comes directly to us right below in the description of this video. We also just launched this month our very own streaming service, called Trilogy Plus, a brand new world for us with an ever-growing library of content that you won't want to miss. Things like behind the scenes featurettes, extended cuts of videos, brand new shows, short films and feature films that Art and myself were a part of way back in our early days of LA, long before Trilogy Media ever even existed. From stuff you've never seen anywhere publicly to newly uncensored stuff from the OG Trilogy Media vault, there's something here for almost everyone. It's been live for less than a month as of recording this, and already there's a huge library of stuff that you can peruse that if you like anything about Trilogy Media, I'm sure you'll find something in there that interests you. This is our newest, biggest thing. This is a lifelong venture for us. We've put so much time and energy and resources into this, taken some risks to make this happen. It's, uh, it's a new universe for everything Trilogy Media, and it's available now. You can stream right now at TrilogyPlus.com or on your smartphone or smart TV. There's an app on iOS, Android, Android TV, Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Get the app, check it out. You can watch seven days for free. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, it's cool. Either way, it helps us out, and uh, we really appreciate you giving it a try. And just to reiterate, we are not leaving YouTube. We're not stopping YouTube videos. That's not what this is about. This isn't a replacement for YouTube for us at all. This is simply a bigger and better playground that we're gonna spend a lot of time in. We're gonna be making content there the way that we want, the content that we wanna make truly is gonna go there in the way that we wanna make it without our entire livelihood having to rely on a mystery algorithm or having to create content within the constraints of community guidelines. We can do the things that we wanna do the way we want to do them and give you the content that we truly know that you wanna watch. It's simply raw, uncensored, unapologetic Trilogy Media. And we would love to have you a part of it. And it's not just gonna be Trilogy Media on this platform, let's make that very clear. But, you know, you'll just have to subscribe and be patient and stay tuned to learn more about that later. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a good one. Oh, well, I'm a kind of genial little homies wanna be like on my knees in the light, sing praise in the street like been spending most like their lives in a gangster's paradise. <laughs>